Hello YouTubers, uh, welcome to my video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about this uh, just acquired uh, component tester from eBay, which is uh, which is very cheap. And I'm going to do some demo of testing uh, some components. Uh, it's a handy component that uh, built uh, for those who are deep in, into electronics. And partially, I'm an electronic uh, guy, but I'm not uh, that... Uh, well versed in electronic so in short i'm not an electronic engineer i re i repair general stuff generally a uh, musical instrument am ranging from guitars to amp to pedal whatever analog that i can uh, i can troubleshoot uh, anything that's uh, non digital so uh, the unit itself uh, comes uh, like so in a box and it doesn't have uh, an exclusion it has a, a very convenient uh, zero insertion force uh, uh, socket and the uh, battery connector is a, it's quite a sturdy connector. I thought I'm, I'm going to get the uh, plastic uh, flimsy type but uh, it comes with this uh, sturdy uh, battery connector which is uh, very good. Thumbs up over there. And um, it has uh, a... Uh, let me try to focus my cheap camera to this... Uh, this uh, exposed uh, surface uh, uh, plated something so this is uh, for those if you want to measure SMD component which is very very tiny to to grab on to with a uh, crocodile clip or whatever you can put it here and uh, press test and it will tell you whatever it should tell you whether the component is uh, okay or faulty so we're gonna proceed to uh, testing some uh, component that I have. I'm gonna start with a small component first that fits the uh, zip socket, and I'm gonna start with uh, a transistor, uh, an old vintage trans transistor. You don't you don't get to buy a colorful transistor nowadays. This is an old uh, uh, can't see the number actually, Japanese type S A or S B C D. M. And press test shows you the battery and shows you the uh, pin the type of the transistor this is a pnp type very convenient and the uh, the uh, where's the base collector emitter according to the uh, numbered pin that you insert it to the display is not that long for 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 uh, it doesn't display that long so uh, what can I tell you? It has a forward current of 584 millivolt and HFE, which uh, I do not know anything about. So, uh, next component is uh, we're gonna try some. We're gonna try a transistor also, a very small transistor. Accidentally press test there, so ignore that one. So we're gonna put in the transistor and then press test again. So this is a triac. So I'm surprised I have stri triac in my uh, spare part bin. I'm sure. I'm sure why. What's the reason for me of me buying triac? So, <laughs> so we're gonna put that aside. So good that it tells us what the components are because some components may look the same like this. At first glance, it may look like a transistor, but it's a triac. And. Uh, what about other small component that I can find? Uh, yeah, this uh, transistor. Press test. It's a PNP transistor with a HFE of 227 and my uh, forward current of uh, 608 millivolt. So, uh, which tell me this uh, transistor works fine. So, uh, Let's go to a bigger component where I will uh, insert this uh, high-tech uh, customized uh, crocodile clip which you can buy very cheap and cut and strip the wire uh, is uh, advised for you to solder the wire so it has some grip in the uh, zero insertion force uh, socket and then put that push that down and Let's test uh, a con a inductor. Unfortunately, I have only one inductor. This is taken from uh, an M, a Lini M, on the power M uh, uh, circuit. So, 
Press test. So it tells us it's a resistor. So I'm not sure why. Maybe I should buy the other one that uh, has more features. So it tells us it's a resistor, which is not. This is a inductor. Let's press again, see what happened. It's a resistor again, so I may buy the other one, which uh, has uh, those that the, the other one that has two button there. Maybe that one has more features. And let's go to a bigger transistor, which is this uh, Sunken 2773. Uh, this uh, component that I've been keeping for years, I doubt that I've used for it because uh, many I, I, I think many appliances that do not use this anymore so uh, maybe use those days in hi-fi uh, stuff NPN okay everything tells uh, it tells what what is supposed to tell and uh, another transistor which is a different package this uh, TO3 I think TO3 or TO something the package which the uh, body itself is, is I believe is a collector itself so uh, press test NPN ok very good so uh, component that was tested previously everything is ok and let's move to a uh, Capacitor. This is a general uh, capacitor generally used in a guitar at the tone port, uh, 47 nanofarad polypropylene material. 46.07 good enough already with an ESR 18 ohm. I guess uh, that's good uh, because this is new. I think uh, that's that is quite low for it. A standard uh, measurement of ESR for that size of capacitor and uh, yeah let's go to a uh, diode so this is a uh, 1N uh, what does it say 1N4001 general purpose normally used for rectifying AC ok press test So, uh, yeah, tells me it's a diode with a capacitance of 16 picofarad and with a forward voltage of 647 millivolt. Whatever that means, I have no idea. So the reason I bought this thing is for me to know whether the component works faulty or not. So, it makes the test much more quicker. And uh, let's go to a bigger capacitor. This is a... 4700 uh, microfarad I doubt there's uh, the voltage in this capacitor because it's been in the bin for, for years and maybe the current will dissipate in the air it's a uh, 5015 uh, microfarad which uh, <laughs> very far off from was written maybe because of the age or what and then uh, the ESR is quite low I think it's good with a voltage loss of uh, with a hmm hmm again Funny how earlier it was showing a uh, voltage loss and then suddenly that voltage loss is gone and then just one info there. So uh, don't know what's going on there. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother about that because uh, I'm not using this capacitor anymore. And because I repair guitar, let's check some guitar parts. Uh, let's check a volume port. This volume port has uh, a code there where I can find find out what's the value if I go online understanding the uh, CTS part code. But anyway, we're going to use this uh, tester to do the job for us. I'm going to plug in the uh, 
connect the uh, alligator to each of the uh, lug or leg and uh, press test it's a 499.9k which tells me this is a uh, 500k uh, volume port and with a some sort of a, hmm, maybe a leakage between uh, maybe a leakage between uh, leg, uh, the first leg to the third leg is uh, around 60.4 ohm maybe that's uh, normal for a potential meter to have leakage so uh, but generally it tells me this is a 500k volume port so I can mark this so I know next time if I want to use 500k ports it's available let's uh, let's check pickup can this check guitar pickup so we're gonna wire this uh, this is a Seymour Duncan uh, JB and uh, as many reviews about this uh, uh, testing uh, comp uh, component tester in YouTube so I'm just contributing my part to it no intention of competing with anyone else so it's showing a uh, 17.26k ohm however i i hope to see some inductance uh, measurement so that uh, i know the inductance of the pickup because generally pickups uh, it has two characteristic it has the coil that which is which wound around a bobbin that itself is a characteristic of a uh, inductor like so so the resistance is created by the amount at the same time by the amount of coil that going around that bobbin so in this case it's going uh, it has something in between so uh, I may buy the other one uh, the other tester there's a lot of tester ranging from 10 to 20 USD maybe that two button version has that uh, capability so uh, I don't mind uh, uh, this because this itself is quite cheap so there's no loss here so uh, let's measure another pickup which is a bass pickup this is from a uh, ESP uh, 5 string bass so it's a uh, 2 conductor pickup and uh, let's measure it So showing us uh, 11.99 which is I'm going to round it up to 12k so this pickup works it has resistance it doesn't show the inductance but I'm not sure about that I'm going to research the other one whether that has the capability or not so uh, yeah that's pretty much about it uh, I already measured what I've uh, put on the bench and no need for me to pursue uh, measuring the same kind of component uh, continuously so uh, uh, back in 2000 uh, I bought a similar uh, component which, uh, a similar component tester which uh, I think the company still exists today which is uh, I'm going to show you the component which is this thing I'm sure some of you uh, know what this is or seen this before and uh, maybe uh, the rest of you have no idea what this is this is a uh, product from Peak Electronics UK. I believe this is their, maybe one of their earlier product, which is a on your right is a transistor analyzer, on your left is a MOSFET uh, analyzer. It works the same uh, way as the uh, component, the eBay component tester does. So what I do is uh, last time is I all the same thing. We plug the uh, we hook up the alligator. Uh, clip to the uh, leg of the transistor and then press the red button so this one tells me it's a PNP and the uh, colored LED tells me the uh, red uh, clip is the base the non-colored the non-lighted uh, uh, LED is the uh, center sorry is the uh, uh, emit sorry the green is the emitter uh, the, sorry the green is the collector which is this and then the black 
refers to the non uh, light uh, uh, LED. Uh, so it's quite a, a good tester also, or at least it used to be good to me. Uh, and uh, it doesn't matter whether I mix up the uh, the uh, uh, alligator; it's, it's it's still gonna show the right leak going attaching to to where. So. Uh, if a component is a, a transistor is short or, or faulty, it's gonna it's gonna bling like so. So uh, whether it's open or short, it's gonna bling like so. It doesn't tell you more than that, just like. So uh, not only I have to buy this, I have to buy the other one also. So uh, in case I have to check a MOSFET. So each of these is uh, five hundred ringgit. So I had to buy two. That's one thousand ringgit. One thousand ringgit fifteen years ago is a lot of money. Can buy you a lot of things. So, uh, uh, fortunately, the company have uh, they make new word new version of these two where these two is uh, are combined as one and then the the exclusion is much more nicer and they they do they still they still have uh, this uh, uh, prong this alligator prong uh, to test uh, a component. So I may equate this. Uh, this does more than these two, and beyond. Or I may say this also partially do all three work. Partially a DMM, and uh, these two combine and beyond. So. Uh, for 10 or 20 USD, it's a good, a very, very value for your money uh, component tester. It's handy. Uh, you, you, I recommend you keep one if you are into electronics or repair. And I would recommend any school, uh, secondary school, that offers electronic class like um, vocational school to have this given to the student as a backup. So they can know and uh, they can uh, uh, understand things and know more about the component. Because when I learned electronic in my school days, we were we were using just a, a analog multimeter, and sometimes those things can spoil because sometimes we measure DC and we have the the uh, the leads in the wrong way. The 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 needle sort sort of like go the other way. The, the go goes the other the other direction, and we accidentally. Uh, spoil the multi, uh, the analog multimeter. So, in some cases, or in most cases, when checking component, I would recommend this. And uh, <laughs> these two are uh, quite a regret, but at the time I had I had to I, I have no choice but to buy this to buy these two things. They have served their purpose and will end up in my vintage uh, whatever uh, component unused component. Uh, bin. So uh, from now on, I'm going to use this, and I might uh, consider the uh, the other uh, ten twenty dollar uh, variant of of, uh, of of component tester. So uh, in the next video, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh, review about uh, this thing that I also bought from eBay, which is the uh, Mustang uh, Smart Tweezer and chip. So. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much and thank you for watching. Uh, if you have uh, any comment, please comment down there. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.